The first lighthouse at Minot's Ledge, on the southern approach to Boston Harbor, fell in an April 1851 storm, taking with it the lives of two young assistant keepers. Congress appropriated funds for a new lighthouse in August 1852. General Joseph G. Totten, chief engineer of the U.S. Army and a member of the new lighthouse board, designed the second Minot's Ledge Lighthouse. Lieutenant Barton S. Alexander of the Army Corps of Engineers, a Kentucky native and West Point graduate, made some modifications in the design and was superintendent of the project. A friend once described Alexander as a man of massive stature with a head and heart in full proportion to his body. A shore station for the project was established at Seven Acre Government Island, formerly known as Doan's Island, attached to the mainland on the south side of Cohasset Harbor. The painstaking cutting and assembling of the granite took place at Government Island. Granite from the Granite Railway Company's quarry in Quincy, Massachusetts, had been chosen because it was considered, quote, finest of grain, toughest and clearest of sap, unquote. A team of oxen moved the blocks to a vessel that took them to the ledge. Strong Portland cement was used to adhere the blocks to each other once they were put into their final position. One of the problems posed by the project was how to make the lowest granite blocks adhere to the underwater ledge. Experiments produced a solution. The blocks were surrounded with a layer of thin muslin which protected the mortar from the dissolving action of the ocean water. The foundation stones were also secured to the ledge using galvanized wrought iron bolts. Not a single man was seriously injured in the course of construction, although waves swept the workers off the rocks many times. Despite the fact that all the workers were required to know how to swim, a Cohasset diver was hired to act as a lifeguard. When a wave hit, the men learned to hold on tightly to a steel bolt or rope until the danger passed. On October 2, 1858, the cornerstone was laid and an official dedication was held. Mayor Frederick W. Lincoln of Boston introduced Captain Alexander, who said, quote, now again we are erecting a lighthouse here, but this time of granite, granite piled on granite, so may it stand that they who go down to the sea in ships may see the signal fire burning brightly to warn them from the countless rocks that echo with the rage that oft swells from the bosom of old ocean. The last stone was laid on June 29, 1860, five years minus one day after Alexander and his workmen first landed at the ledge. The final cost of about $330,000, including two keepers' houses on shore, made it one of the most expensive lighthouses in United States history. A second-order Fresnel lens was put into place, and the lighthouse was first illuminated on November 15, 1860. Its light was 84 feet above mean high water. In 1894, Minutes was given a distinctive 143 flash. A single flash followed by an interval of three seconds, then four flashes separated by one second, then another interval of three seconds of darkness, followed by three flashes, again separated by one second. Someone decided that 143 stood for I love you, and Minot's ledge light was soon popularly referred to as the I Love You Light, an appellation that has inspired numerous songs and poems. Built of 1,079 blocks, weighing 3,514 tons of Quincy granite, the tower has stood through countless storms and hurricanes, a testament to its designers and builders. <laughs>